What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I have an awesome video today showing you the new smart narrative visual just released by Power BI. This is a really cool visual that's going to allow you to auto-generate AI-powered text to tell you about your data. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the smart narrative visual in its most basic form by allowing it to auto-generate that text for you. And then I'm also gonna show you how to customize this to get the most out of this smart narrative visual. An example of what we're going to end up with at the end of this video, we're going to have this nice text box here that's going to say, this month the BI Elite mailing list increased by 126 subscribers. And you can see that this 126 is colored blue. It is a variable. Uh, that is a 32% decrease from last month. So both these 32% and decrease are variables as well. You achieved an open rate of 29.55% compared to your average open rate of 37.82%. So all five of these colored words or numbers here are actually variables that can change based on the filter context. For example, if I were to open up my filter pane and change to show only a certain audience, we can see that my numbers and values are changing. So instead of that uh, what was that number? 126. Uh, for a certain mailing list, my BI Elite audience, uh, we see that I increased by 17 subscribers. So we'll get into how we can set up this more detailed text here, uh, but let's go ahead and get started in another file. So here's my demo file. Don't have the smart narrative visual up yet. Before we get into it, you should know that this is a preview feature as of September 2020. So you will want to enable this in your options, options and settings. So let's go ahead and go to preview features here and make sure smart narrative visual is checked. Once you click okay, it's going to require that you restart your Power BI desktop. Uh, but once you do that, you will have access to this new smart narrative visual. Since I have two visuals on the screen, clicking on this new smart narrative visual is going to auto generate text based on the visuals that are on the screen already. So if I were to expand this out a little bit, we can read through what this has auto-generated. And keep in mind, this is AI powered. So this is looking through what we have on the screen and determining the best insights to tell the audience based on what it's given. So for example, uh, subscribe for training example, 91.49% increase in BI Elite audience, 39,000% uh, increase, both trended up between Thursday, August 1st, 2019, and Tuesday, September 1st, 2020. Right off the bat, it's telling us about certain trends within certain date ranges. I'm not gonna go through each individual line here, but you can read through it and see that it's basically just telling us information that we might not necessarily know. We don't have visualizations on all of these trends, and it's just giving us a nice picture of maybe some deeper insights that we haven't teased out in our data yet. We also have the option to customize this, this smart narrative visual is basically just a text box. Power BI has upgraded the text box, so it works as the smart narrative visual right out of the box, and we'll get into that in just a second. So since this smart narrative visual is a text box, we can actually edit this as we would a text box and just start typing things anywhere in this narrative here. We can also add our own values. We're actually gonna walk through this in a different example. We can also inspect the values that it's throwing in here. For example, 91.49%. Let's click on that. We can see uh, basically the thought process behind that value. So you can get a lot of information about what this AI powered visual is actually doing behind the scenes. So this is great. The smart narrative visual is going to create all of this on the fly. No need for us to do anything unless we want to. Uh, but we can actually go ahead and create our own story or narrative using just a base text box. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the smart narrative visual. And let's go to insert and let's insert a text box just like we would normally. But you can see that it looks different uh, right off the bat. Uh, it's kind of got a different bar here. We see value and review. So those are both new. So I've already typed up uh, some text that I want to show here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. And I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger so that we can read it. Uh, so I'll just read through it quickly. This month, the BI Elite mailing list increased by uh, blank subscribers. And I put an open and closing curly braces to indicate that that's gonna be a variable that we are gonna fill. Uh, that is a blank increase or decrease from last month. The increase or decrease is also going to be a variable. You achieved an open rate of blank compared to your average open rate of blank. So we have five different blanks here uh, to fill in with these dynamic variables. So let's go ahead and get started with that. There are a couple of ways that you can do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click inside my curly brackets 
and I'm going to click on this value. So that's going to open up this dialog that will allow you to basically ask the AI behind Power BI how you can calculate this value. So you can just type in normal words and see if it comes up with the right answer. For example, I'm trying to calculate the number of subscribers that my mailing list increased by. And in order to know how I want to calculate this, uh, you need to know a little bit about your data. So I know that in my uh, table list growth history, I have this column called new subscribers. Uh, so I can see that for a certain list, it increased by 17 subscribers from August 2020 through uh, September 2020. So I'm actually looking for this value here. So I know I have this column called new subscribers. So when I come back to asking this question to the AI, I can say something like sum of new subscribers and let's say this month, because I specifically only want to look at the new subscribers this month, we see that value is 126. That's actually kind of interesting uh, because 126 is the sum of my two lists in September, 17 plus 109, these top two rows here. So that's 126. That's actually what I want. And the interesting thing is this 126 doesn't actually take in any filters. So this is the unadulterated view, but you're gonna see that the value in the text might actually change, although this preview result isn't gonna care about any filters being applied. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this. So I'm just gonna call it value one, uh, just to make sure I understand that this is the first value in my narrative. So once I'm done with that, let's go ahead and click save. And that's gonna throw it in here. Um, like I said, if I were to create a filter here based on just a certain audience, let's just look at my BI Elite audience. So it's 17. So if I were to click back on this, we still see that it shows 126, although uh, it actually is 17 with the current filter context. But that's looking good. Uh, we've increased by 17 subscribers, and this is now dynamic based on the filter context. I'm gonna actually color this blue just to give us an idea uh, that this is an auto-generated value. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that one more time and color that blue. There we go. Uh, so the next one is asking us for a percent increase or decrease from last month. That's a little bit more complicated of a calculation, and that's going to require us to actually write a DAX measure. Writing these DAX measures is going to allow us to bring out even more from the smart narrative visual because it's going to give us a lot more flexibility on how to calculate these values. Before we get to that, let's go ahead and finish out these two easy ones. So in order to get an open rate, for the current month, I can easily do that. So let me go ahead and click add new value. And I'm going to say average, let me type that right, average of open rates this month. And that's actually going to pop open with 31.92%. Specifically, you might need to indicate the date that is going to drive this month. So I'm gonna click show more. And I know that I wanna go off of date uh, date sent. So basically I want to look at how is my open rate doing based on the month that my campaign is being sent. So let's go ahead and click date sent and that's giving me a value of 29.55. That's perfect. We can format this to our liking. For example, if I only want one decimal place, I could do that, make it a percentage 29.6%. And I'm going to call this value four because that's going to be this fourth value that we're showing in here. Let's go ahead and click save. And we're looking good. I'm going to get rid of the curly brackets and color that one blue. And let's finish up this one. So instead of my curly brackets, I'm going to add a new value. And I'm going to say average of open rate just a nice easy average of open rate because this is going to look at my average over all of time uh, and again i'm going to give this one decimal place and give it a percentage and i'm going to call that value five so those are the easy ones that are going to allow us to basically um, write in some very quick dynamic calculations based on asking the AI questions about our data. And these questions were pretty easy for the AI to understand. If the AI doesn't understand your question, you also have the option to teach it or train it how to answer those questions. We won't go into that in this video, um, but we actually do cover it in our DA100 training. If you wanna check that out over at training.bielite.com, that DA100 prep course has a lot more information about these AI powered visuals. So let's finish up here with these last two variables. And these are more complex.
and they're going to offer you more flexibility than these uh, default asking questions to the AI. So for this first one, I want to calculate the percent increase or decrease from last month. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new measure or create a new measure. So I'm going to call this subscriber percent change. And first things first, I need to calculate my subscribers this month. It's going to be the exact same value as this. So I'll call this subs this month. And I'm just going to paste in the code because that's not really the scope of this video. This is going to calculate my subs this month. I'm going to create another variable called subs last month and set that equal to another piece of code. And again, just pasting this in here to save us some time. So I have my subs this month, sub last month, and the percent change between them is a simple calculation of subs this month minus subs last month divided by subs last month. Let's just be uh, complete here and use the divide calculation. So divide subs this month minus subs last month divided by subs last month. Go ahead and click um, complete here. So now that we have a working uh, variable here that we can actually just go ahead and test, we see a nice subscriber change of negative 23% because we were doing worse this month than last month. Now, when we go back to our smart narratives visual, instead of our curly brackets, we can insert a new value. And instead of asking a question, we can just refer to our new subscriber. What do we call this? Subscriber percent change. So percent change. It's actually going to show us this measure, subscriber percent change. And we see that value negative 0.32 when there are no filters applied. Let's go ahead and give it one decimal place. And I'm going to call this value two and click save. So 22.7%. That is perfect. So let me go ahead and highlight that guy. And now let's go ahead and see if we can add this new variable for increase or decrease. And that's going to be another simple measure. So let me go ahead and say, uh, I'm going to call this subscriber increase slash decrease and set that equal to just an if, if our subscriber percent change is greater than zero, I just want to return the text increase else let's return the text decrease and that's all I need but now that we're returning a text value we can just basically add that in dynamically into our smart narrative so let's go ahead and add a value here and let's say subscriber increase decrease so we see that we can refer to our measure we see that it's going to say decrease and I'm going to name this value 3 let's go ahead and click save so actually, I don't want any capitals here so that it fits. So let me go ahead and change that measure code. And that will basically be it. Let me go ahead and color this guy just to kind of keep it on par. There we go. So now we have our entire smart narrative that we actually built ourselves. But as you recall, we have a few values in here that we were able to ask the AI. And we have a couple values that we actually wrote within measures. I am definitely leaning towards writing my own in measures because it gives you that flexibility in order to basically calculate something a certain way or add text in here that can change dynamically. Um, just as another example, if I were to change my filters, we can see that these values are changing as well. So with that, I'm going to end the video here. This is running a little bit long, but I hope you like this video about the smart narrative visual. It's a really cool addition uh, into Power BI that's going to allow you to basically create those smart narratives on the fly without really having to do anything or by writing your own story with specific questions that you can ask the AI or with specific measure calculations that you can bake in there. So with that, if you like this video, make sure you check out my training over at training.bielite.com. We have some awesome courses on Power BI DAX and Alteryx. Hope to see you there.